All right, guys, so if you've been following me long enough, you know that I am one crazy mofo. And at about six weeks post-op, this crazy idea popped in my head of, let's compete this year. I know, right? So originally there was a show planned in Rome, which was on December 1st. And I knew that the only way I could trick my wife into letting me compete was to make some type of vacation out of it. Our anniversary just so happens to be December 2nd. So I said, baby, how about we go to Rome for our anniversary? But in the meantime, we're just gonna do this little bodybuilding show the day before. Um, she thought I was nuts, told me no. Uh, Joe at AD told me I was an idiot, told me no. So I kind of explained things to them. Uh, I've had a ton of you guys reach out to me and telling me how inspirational I am to you um, who have been dealing with surgery or injuries or things like that. And I have a lot of my peers that have recently had major injuries and they're reaching out to me trying to figure out how I'm staying so positive and, and what I'm doing to recover so fast because my recovery process has been absolutely phenomenal. So I just kind of explained this to them that this is all to inspire other people. You know, I, I obviously am not gonna make improvements over my last show, but I 100% truly believe that I can look as good as I did at Tampa one week before I ruptured my bicep if I do this properly. So like I said, recovery has been going great. As you can see the bicep, is coming back right now. I'm able to train pretty much everything except for heavy direct bicep movements. Um, and I'm only six and a half weeks post-op. So I was told that I wouldn't be able to start training really until 16 weeks post-op. And the show puts me at about, well, 14 weeks post-op because once my wife said yes and agreed to a trip to Rome, I went on the IFPB schedule just to find out that the Rome show was canceled. Literally, I just looked at it like two weeks earlier. But there was one a week earlier in Romania, Thanksgiving weekend. So since Sherry said yes, she can't back out. So I'm gonna go to Romania, which will put me 14 weeks post-op, which is two weeks before I was told I would ever be able to train again. Now, how am I doing this? Well, first of all, I brought you guys through the whole nutrition and training, what I've been doing throughout recovery. Um, I've had great companies like Revive uh, Wellness Center who have gotten pharmaceutical grade BPC-157 and TB-500 and that's really helped speed up the process of healing and the guys over at New Fit are sending me a newbie so I can train with it. So what I'll able to do is I can't do direct bicep curls. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to grab a 20 pound dumbbell and tear this thing off again. Nor am I going to try to do heavy deadlifts or anything like that. But with a newbie, I'll able to train the bicep itself and my back without putting any pressure on the tendon. So what it will do is it will stimulate the muscle to act like I'm doing an 80 pound dumbbell curl, but I'm really only holding a five pound dumbbell. So there'll be no tension on that tendon whatsoever to actually hurt it. And I can do the same thing with back, doing bent over rows or one arm dumbbell rows, things like that to really help keep some thickness. Um, I took some progress photos and I look back what I look like the day of surgery because my crazy ass one did uh, a workout and took photos the morning of and you know six and a half weeks later and I look pretty much the same minus the arm being actually the arm looks better because they reattached it so the bicep actually looks bigger so I am going to do Romania and I'm doing this to inspire all of you to let you know that just because things happen you can't let it get you down and not once have I been down and out mentally or you know thought my career was over I always stay positive stayed upbeat and I truly believe that's a big part of the whole recovery process as well. So stay tuned. We're gonna get a lot of content for you guys using the newbie, showing you how to train with that, and just me going through the whole process. So keep tuning in.